Tarantino. I am the founder of the instrumental metal band Ethereus, and I'm also the touring guitarist for Angel Vivaldi. Welcome back to another lesson today. We're going to be breaking down some of the sick licks that I just played for you right here from the Ethereus song, The Rivers of Sand and Blood. Make sure you're warmed up and pay attention! So before we get into the solo, I'm just going to break down the theory behind it real quick. So we're in a key of B minor and we're using the B harmonic minor scale. And the harmonic minor scale is the same thing as natural minor, just with a raised seventh, a major seventh. So the natural minor scale goes like this. So we have... So it's B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B. So we got one second. So we're going to take that same scale and to make it harmonic minor, we're just going to take that last note, the seventh, and we're just going to move it up a half step. So it's a natural seventh or a major seventh. So we're going to play A sharp instead of A. So the harmonic minor scale goes like this. So it's B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A sharp, B, and then second octave. And as you can hear, that note, that major seven, is what we call a leading tone. So what that means is basically, when you play that note, your ear naturally wants it to resolve back to the root. So it's called a leading tone. So that's what makes the harmonic minor scale different from natural minor. So again... So again, your ear wants to hear it resolve back to the root. So the solo starts with a bend. We're bending 22 on the B string, so A to B, and it goes like this. So again, A to B, we're doing a bend and release, and then we're doing a pull off, 22 to 19. Then from here we have this run. Again, like I said, it's all based on B harmonic minor, so we're doing. So it's all eighth note triplets, but there is a little section in there where I throw in a quick burst of 16th notes. So again. Right there on the D string. So one, one more time, slow. So up to there we have. So again, it's all alternate picking. So I'm just starting with a downstroke and just going down the scale. So when you do the 16th notes there, the last note, which is the 14, the F sharp there on the D string, that's gonna be hit with a downstroke, and then you're gonna go the next string with an upstroke. So, right there. So again, one more time. So the next lick is this right here. So that's all based around F sharp seven, which is the five chord in the key of B minor. So I like to think of this as two separate licks. So we have the first part right here, which is, which is a straight F sharp major arpeggio, you know, root third, fifth. Or in this case, I play it backwards. I do root fifth, third. So we have that part, and then the next part is C sharp diminished, little C sharp diminished arpeggio. So, so we have the first lick, F sharp major, then we go into diminished right here. So I do a little string skipping. So altogether, theoretically, this would be F sharp seven flat nine, because you have G in there, which is the flat nine, and E, which is the flat seven. And again, I'm doing alternate picking here, and we got a little bit of string skipping. So I'm doing down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. 
and we're ending with a bend, a half step. So we're bending that A sharp, 18th fret E string. We're bending up a half step to B to resolve it. And that last note, I kind of rake across a couple of the strings. So instead of doing, I do. It's hit or miss. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. So again. So like that, I just kind of rake again. You want to mute with the right hand, make sure those notes don't ring out. So up to there we have. So that brings us to the next lick. So we're starting 18th fret on the E string and we're doing this. So again, 18th fret. So 18, 19, 18, 15, and then we're gonna slide to 14. So 14, 15, 18, 15, 14. Again, this is all bass in B harmonic minor. And we go with the B string. So we're doing 17, 15, 14, 15, 17, 15, 14, 12, 14, 15, 14, 12. Again, the last lick is 15, 15, 12, 11, 12, 15, 12, 11, 12. So. so in the tab, I have it notated for all legato, and that's the way I did it on the recording, but when I play it now, when I play it live, and when I practice it, I just practice it with alternate picking, because to me it just sounds a lot cleaner, a little more attack. So you could play it with legato, and this is how it would sound. Again, it doesn't have the same attack and the same tone, so here it is with alternate picking again. And then we end that phrase with these two slides here. So I'm just sliding to 11, it's on the G string. I'm not sliding back to any particular note, I'm just kind of sliding sort of to nowhere. So again, up to there we have. So that brings us to the end of the solo. So this last lick is very much inspired by Marty Friedman. Very similar to the arpeggio hammer-on pull-off lick that he does towards the end of Tornado of Souls. So the lick slow goes like this. So first arpeggio is B minor, so we're starting 14th fret on the E string with our pinky, and we're doing... So there's two ways you can play this. You can do it with hammer-ons and pull-offs, or you can just do it as strict alternate picking. So I like to do it with the hammer-ons and pull-offs. So pull off the first lick, pick the next two notes, so the 12 and the 10, and then this lick right here, the 14, 10 pull-off on the E string, I just do that, again, just with pull-offs, so... So then right here, again, I'm just pulling off the 14, 10, and then when I do the 12, 10, I'm just down up, just alternate picking, so... That's the first one, the second one is... So again, it's just diminished, so bass around, again, F sharp 7, the 5 chord in B minor, so... So it's just 12, 9, 11. 12, 9, 11, 9. You can do this, I like to do it with my third finger, you can use the pinky as well. So again, first two arpeggios. And from here we go, again, B minor, but we're playing it higher up, so... So the lick is 19, 14, 15, 14. But the same pattern. So again.
And right here we end it with two arpeggios, G major and F sharp major. So that last arpeggio sequence is... Last note, we're just ending on B, so 19th fret E string, and just a lot of vibrato, and just slide down the E string, and that ends the solo. So here's the entire solo one more time, played slow. Thank you all very much for watching today's video. If you would like to support me and get access to an archive of lessons with downloadable tabs and backing tracks, check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash jtarantino. The link is in the description box below. And if you would like to check out my band Ethereus, from which all of these lessons are derived from, check us out at ethereusband.com. Again, the link is in the description box below. Follow us on Instagram at ethereusband. Follow me at Guitar Boss. Always posted behind the scenes clips, writing, making videos like this, recording demos. And you can check out my website, jtarantino.com. All the links are in the description box below. Thank you very much for your support, and I'll see you in the next lesson.